What is highest A1C? If you find this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on diabetes management. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are dedicated to providing you with all the essential information about diabetes, its management, and overall health. Today we're going to talk about something very important, which is the highest A1C. But before we dive into that, let's quickly go over what A1C is. A1C, also known as HbA1c, glycated hemoglobin, or simply hemoglobin A1c, is a blood test that gives us an idea about your average blood sugar levels over the past two to three months. This test is crucial for people with diabetes as it helps monitor how well they are managing their blood sugar levels. Now, let's discuss the question of the day. What is the highest A1c? The A1c scale typically goes from 5 to 14 percent. However, in certain extreme cases, it can go beyond 14 percent. In fact, some reports have shown A1c levels as high as 20 percent. But it's crucial to understand that such high levels are dangerous and can lead to severe complications, including heart disease, kidney disease, nerve damage, and vision problems. Let's break down what different A1c levels mean. An A1c level below 5.7% is considered normal. Between 5.7 and 6.4% indicates prediabetes and 6.5% or above on two separate tests means you have diabetes. If you are already diagnosed with diabetes, your goal will typically be an A1c level below 7%. This goal can differ based on a variety of factors such as age, overall health, and how long you've had diabetes. So, it's important to work with your healthcare provider to set an appropriate A1c goal. But what happens when A1c levels are excessively high? An A1c level above 10% means your diabetes is poorly controlled. And that's where the risk of complications starts to rise significantly. High A1c levels can impact almost every organ in your body, including your heart, kidneys, blood vessels, eyes, and nerves. Continuous high A1c levels can lead to heart disease due to the hardening of the arteries. It can also result in kidney damage or nephropathy, which might need dialysis in extreme cases. Eye problems like retinopathy and cataract are more common in people with high A1c levels. In addition to these, high A1c can lead to nerve damage or neuropathy, causing pain and numbness in the feet and hands. Now that we've talked about the risks associated with high A1c levels, let's look at how to lower them. The cornerstone of managing your A1c levels is maintaining a healthy lifestyle. This includes regular physical activity, a balanced diet, and if necessary, medication. Regular monitoring and keeping up with your medical appointments is also key. In terms of diet, focus on meals that are high in fiber, low in saturated fats, and have a balance of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Regular physical activity can also help your body use insulin more effectively. Medication can be another important part of your diabetes management plan. This could involve insulin therapy or other oral or injected medications. It's also crucial to monitor your blood sugar levels regularly to ensure your treatment plan is working effectively. And that's it for today's topic on, what is the highest A1c? Remember, the goal is not to compete for the highest A1c, rather it is to maintain it within a healthy range to prevent complications. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to discuss, leave them in the comments below. Please remember that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not replace the advice of your healthcare provider. If you have concerns about your A1c levels or diabetes management, please consult with a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.